Welcome. This video is to enable you to complete a questionnaire called the RSQ, the Resilient Scales Questionnaire. If you have completed this kind of questionnaire before, you will probably have been encouraged to respond quickly, to give the first answer that comes to you. This time, we're encouraging you to pause, to give yourself more time to reflect more deeply. Let me begin with explaining a little more about what resilience is. Everyone experiences challenges in life, and some of these challenges can make us feel emotional and may make us even doubt ourselves. But this is normal and universal. When we talk about resilience, this is not about avoiding such anxieties, rather it's about how we deal with them. An analogy could be this tennis ball. When hit, it is dented, but then it quickly regains its shape. By contrast, this table tennis ball, when hit, is dented, but it becomes unusable. It takes time and care to restore it. Resilience is about how quickly we can regain our shape. Perhaps this is captured by Confucius when he said, Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we do fall. However, it's not always easy to recognise resilience in people, and that includes in ourselves as well. A key reason is that different people find different things stressful. Think about those things that you find particularly challenging and stressful. Now here is an image that symbolises pressure, whatever it is or might be for you. It's boiling water. Some people appear quite tough, perhaps like these carrots, but put them under pressure and they become soft and mushy. Now some people may appear quite fragile, perhaps like this egg, but put them under pressure, i.e. in the boiling water, and they become much less fragile. Hence the RSQ helps you to explore how you might react in different circumstances and how you change under pressure. Let me explain how the RSQ does this. You will have 90 statements and you're asked to say how you would typically react. It then asks you to consider how you might change under pressure, i.e. when you get into a bit of hot water. But sometimes pressure can be exciting and stimulating, so you're asked to consider your reaction when you feel stretched. But what happens when the pressure gets too much? You're asked for your reaction when you feel stressed. And these three answers encourage you to think carefully about how pressure affects you, even though what you might consider to be pressure may differ from what others do. There's one further point to consider when completing the RSQ. People often think that being resilient is good and may want to get a high score. However, High scores are not always a good indication of genuine resilience. Of course, they can indicate that a person manages many situations without letting their anxieties get in the way. And an example might be Pierre Petit, who no doubt felt some trepidation when he tightrope walked between the Twin Towers. But his confidence not only allowed him to do it, it was also justified. He had the competence to achieve it. However, someone with a high score may be naively optimistic. Their confidence is wildly unrealistic. But now consider a low score. It may suggest that the person is overly pessimistic, always anticipating the worst and hence holding themselves back unnecessarily. For them, the glass is always half empty. However, let us remember that there is a place for suitable caution versus blind optimism. After you've completed the RSQ, you will get a report either directly to your email or from the person who's invited you to complete it. Either way, we recommend that you agree to share the report with someone who can talk it through and help you to the, use the results most effectively. To help you choose the right person to discuss this with, let me tell you what the report includes. First, 
there is an overview page as shown here which shows the five scales self-belief, optimism, purposefulness, managing situations and emotional tolerance and how these change under pressure. Then for each scale there is a summary description together with a narrative interpretation based on your scores. The report also has some questions to encourage you to think more carefully about your results together with some ideas for how you might develop greater resilience if you think you need to do so. And so I hope you know enough now to complete the RSQ in the right frame of mind. This should be in a spirit of exploration and discovery, and I hope you find the process and the reports useful. Thank you for listening.